Hoffman and Cordani are attempting to control some symptoms of a warming planet. But if the Atlantic conveyor shuts down, and there is an ice age, we might have to deal with an even greater global catastrophe. And all in just a few years. Like a light switch. Bubbles of air trapped in the ice tell us about atmospheric conditions year by year. One gas in particular, methane, tells us how wet a year was. A lot of methane in these bubbles indicates a wet year. Less methane indicates drought. And so you can go and ask of those bubbles, how many swamps were there on Earth? And it, this is wonderful because it tells you something that's happening across a whole bunch of the land area. If the world dries up um, partially, there'll be much less methane in the air and it will show up right there. When temperatures dropped, methane plummeted. What Professor Alley has established is that each time the Atlantic conveyor was shut off, which led to an ice age in the northern hemisphere, much of the rest of the planet was plunged into drought. And when the North Atlantic has been cold in the past, the monsoon seems to have weakened or failed in places in Asia. You chill out the Northern Europe and you dry a lot of places where a lot of millions of people live now. Central America would be one of the worst hit regions becoming 40% drier. Huge tracts of rainforest would die away. If this ever happened, there would be drought, famine, and unimaginable numbers of refugees. It could bring the world to its knees. That the Atlantic conveyor will stop soon is such a real danger that the NERC Rapid Climate Change Program have set up their very own early warning system. An array of buoys strung across the Atlantic designed to warn of a slowdown in the current. Our ship, the Discovery, has just been out in the North Atlantic putting out an array of moorings right across the Atlantic. Those moorings will enable us to estimate the flow of warm water north and cold water south in the Atlantic. It gives us a glimmer of hope to know that there are scientists addressing the problem. Should the flow start to fall, at least we will have warning of it. We have only just discovered how urgent is the challenge of climate change? And we are beginning to face that challenge. I think that ultimately, we will come to the situation where we'll be able to implement some kind of large-scale weather control. Scientists like Ross Hoffman are taking the first steps controlling our weather. Perhaps we'll be able to delay a new ice age. Our best hope is that we'll be ready and that our ingenuity will see us through the global crisis.